Hey all you Parkitect fans, theme park enthusiasts, and just friends of the channel, my name is Shadow Phoenix, as you know, and welcome back to another video series here on my channel. Uh, we are back in Parkitect today, as you can see, and as I said in the last video, uh, I was going to put an end to Newbie Park, and we were going to start something new, a brand new project with more custom work and a lot of, you know, just uh, basically a whole new park. Um, and that's where we're going to kind of get into the nitty-gritty of actually building in this game and actually do something, you know, more more me, so to speak. Uh, instead of like Newbie Park West and, and Newbie Park were just me trying to learn the game, I feel like I got a pretty good grasp on it now, so I wanted to kind of start my own series. And that's kind of what we're here doing here today. So, uh, as you can see, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually building like a street down through here and currently we have a parking garage this parking garage was made by Rumi Rumi I got it on the workshop I did have to paint it and of course put down like a main floor and stuff there um, a lot of the buildings that you're gonna see me placing down here did come from the workshop because actually in fact all of the buildings came from the workshop and the reason for that is because uh, I wanted to kind of build like a, a street and I didn't want to take a whole lot of time doing it um, because the street's not the most important part of this series. Uh, it is just basically going to be a background. So I wanted some kind of cool buildings. And I, I searched the workshop and I found some some decent ones. I found the garage of course there and again that was by Rummy Rummy. Uh, I found these cool art deco buildings made by Ardenovic and Astrotron. Uh, and then I found these Main Street, like these Disney Main Street buildings that were made by Nathan Conaway in 1999. Now, the Art Deco buildings I really, really like. Uh, the Main Street buildings from the Disney Main Street buildings, I don't really want to use them, but they kind of work for me for now. I needed some corner buildings and some other stuff like that. And those were kind of, they were decent. And I kind of thought, you know what, that, that might could work. A few of them kind of look like they would kind of fit in with... Um, like this uh, idea that I have. So what am I actually doing? Uh, well, okay, so like I said, I wanted to do something something more me, something that um, isn't just a very, very generic park and just like placing down rides and just playing around with the game. I wanted to actually build a park park. So one thing that just recently happened is of course, um, as you well know, if you're a Planet Coaster player, we just had the new Vintage DLC came out. And everybody and her mother is doing pier parks and uh, they're doing boardwalk parks and of course I don't want to do that because well you know I'm I don't want to be like jumping on a bandwagon kind of thing just because the new DLC came out so I use the DLC and other stuff but I I like boardwalk parks um, and I had actually started one in Planet Coaster a long time ago but I've noticed that I haven't seen anybody do any kind of boardwalk parks in Parkitect yet. So I thought, you know what? If nobody else is doing one, I'll do one. So, you know, and it's also going to be a very, very basic park as well. So there's not going to be a whole lot of, like, big builds or anything in it. And it's it's a small project that I thought I could kind of start off with. And I really like that idea. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. So, you know, like I said, what I'm doing is I'm placing down, I'm just kind of getting a background with a main street. We got some parking lots, we got the parking garage. Uh, I'm using these uh, these Disney Main Street corner buildings here as sort of a, um, kind of the, the entrance to what's going to be our boardwalk park. Um, and of course I'm going to put the actual entrance and stuff in there. And that will be the next episode, we'll work on the, ne the next version of that. So what I kind of want to do in the future is, like I said, I really like these Art Deco buildings and I kind of would like to continue with a little bit more of that and maybe do some more with our Main Street and stuff and be more custom with that instead of just using a lot of stuff that's off the workshop. Um, nothing wrong with these workshop items, I'm just, I, I don't like using workshop stuff when I can be more custom myself. <laughs> um, this little thing right here was a Main Street, it was like a, a station car, like a trolley car. And I thought, when I first saw it, I thought it was like a little restaurant made into a trolley car. And I thought, oh, that'd be really cool. That, that kind of gives it that New York feel or San Diego feel, you know, San Francisco. Uh, and it turns out it's just a trolley car. So I was just like, oh, well, yeah, that doesn't quite work. So <laughs> I also think I'm missing some pieces. So I'm going to have to go figure out what I'm missing. But... Um, yeah, I mean, 
I really, 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 really like how our, our main street came out in this, so I'm, I'm very happy with it. And it gives me a great base to kind of do our actual boardwalk with. So the actual boardwalk park, I guess it's you could say it's going to be, it's a lot like, uh, you know, kind of the San Francisco, the California boardwalks, basically. Now, a lot of people, when they think of boardwalks, they think of pier parks. When I hear boardwalk, I think of Santa Cruz. Um... And I think there's one in San Diego as well, and there's a few others, but mainly Santa Cruz is the big one that I always think of when I think of boardwalk parks. And that's kind of what I want to kind of capture that feeling with this park. So obviously we're going to have a big wooden coaster that goes down and, you know, kind of runs the, the size of the boardwalk. Um, and, you know, we're going to have some flat rides and stuff in it. So it's, it's not going to be huge i'm gonna to try to be as detailed as i can with it and really kind of like get into the the bare bones of building in this game and that's going to be kind of where this uh series is going to pick up probably next episode we'll probably maybe we'll do the coaster in the next episode i think uh but i still think we need to do the entrance so i don't know maybe we'll do both maybe we'll do the entrance and the coaster um but yeah, so what you're seeing me do right here now is all of these buildings that I got at the workshop all have these like uh, delivery stuff in them and all of these other things and I need to get rid of those pretty quick because we don't need them. All of this is just background. It's just filler. That's all this is. So uh, I went in and deleted all of the like shops and anything having to do with utilities and all that from all of the buildings because again, it's, it's just filler. We don't need them. Uh, it's just to make the actual, the main street look good. Um, I placed down these buildings right down through here, and I was like, oh, you know what? There was another building that I really, really liked that I wanted to get in here. And a guy by the name of Cooler Than Roses made this really cool, um, it, it's like a skin for, you know, facilities and deliveries and all that, and I really, really like this, so... That was uh, something I, I wanted to get in there. And this also captures that kind of feel that I wanted to go for for the boardwalk park. And, you know, I like the colors on it and I like the, the architecture and stuff of it. So I really wanted to do that. Uh, as you can see me struggling right here, I'm like, why can't I place this, uh, the delivery buildings down? And then I realized, oh, I know why. Be, you know, it, I had never played around with Scenario Editor yet, and this is what I'm building in, so I realized I had to go in and actually put the park boundaries in. So <laughs> um, that's going to be the next thing I'm going to do here, so th yeah, that's what you're going to see me do right now at this moment. And I was like, oh, I'm not sure how to do this. So we'll just start back here behind all the buildings, and we'll place down all of that. So in Scenario Editor, if you guys haven't ever used Scenario Editor, what you want to do is go in. Uh, once you're on that little screen right there that says, you know, like park, own, park stuff, um, it doesn't say, but you can actually start drawing right there. See how I'm doing it? Uh, you can just start selecting squares and just kind of select the region that you want to be with whatever you have selected. So this is what's owned, this is what you can buy, all that stuff like that. So uh, it was actually a whole lot simpler than what I expected it to be. And I also noticed a few of these buildings didn't seem to have any backs to them, so we gotta fix that. So I took care of that real quick here. Um, yeah, I mean, there's just not a whole lot. Again, I just wanted to kinda, you know, start the series off on a great note. We got a lot done in this video. Um, and just kind of get the, the basis down. What I would like to do is, if any of my fans out there, uh, if any of you guys play Parkitect, if you're great at building, if you've got like an Art Deco building or something you'd like to see maybe added to the Main Street, um, let me know. Uh, send me a link. Uh, you know, obviously I have a Discord. The link for my Discord will be in the video description below. Uh, go ahead and join up on my Discord and you know, let me know that hey, you're a Parkitect player and you have a building that um, you would like to maybe see added to our main street here, I'll take a look at it and maybe we can see. Maybe you might want to do something custom just for this little park here and get it on the video series. That would be awesome as well. I, I would love to see it. So, yeah. I, I don't really have a whole lot else to say about this because other than just placing down some more buildings and things down here, and deleting all of these uh, shops and stuff out. Uh, then towards the end, you're going to see me do the beach. 
and then I'm going to uh, place down trees and stuff down our, our main street down through there and then I guess after that we just still have to like place down we have parking lots so I got to place down like you know parking spaces and stuff so I'll do that I don't know. Maybe in the next episode we'll work on the entrance and just do a little bit more work with Main Street. And then we'll get started on a coaster, possibly, too. So, that's going to be it. That's really all I have to say on this. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, I do apologize that I did use a lot of workshop buildings and not more custom stuff. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just work on the Main Street more as I go. I really just kind of wanted to get the base in there to kind of see how this was going to look how it's going to come out and I think I have a great idea going here and I can't wait to actually start on the actual park so that's where all of my creative juices are going to kind of come in and actually you know build and stuff on the boardwalk itself and so I can't wait to get started on that so the next episode of this will be on Friday uh, you guys can look forward to that uh, I did wait a little longer I know I didn't have one last Friday or the weekend or anything like I intended to do that's because um, I just I really wanted to plan this out a little better and kind of get the hang of what I was doing just a little bit more before I got started but hey it's Monday we have gotten started and I can't wait to work on the rest of this and I hope you guys are enjoying it I hope you guys will enjoy it I should say and uh, yeah let me know your comments below um, just you know I, I want to hear from you guys and, and let me know your thoughts about you know a Parkitect Boardwalk part. What do you guys think? Anyway, I'm going to head out. Thanks so much for being supporters. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, as you well know, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click that bell as well so you can get notified. You can also check me out on Twitch.tv. I usually will stream on weekends, um, Fridays and Saturdays. On there is pretty much all I do with uh, Twitch right now at the moment. And... Of course, I also have Twitter. You can reach me on Twitter as well. Make sure you follow me there. Everything is the same as my YouTube channel. It is Shadow Phoenix with an X in the middle and the Phoenix spelled weird. <laughs> uh, all right. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching wherever you guys are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you later, guys.